Welcome back savages to another video. In this video we're going to be upgrading the dual band card in this Hifix GeoNet device to a triple band one. So just a quick word on shipping. It's been absolutely excellent. There's been good comms from Hifix all the way through this to the courier as well. There's been no import fees but that's been part of the shipping costs that I've paid. Now I'm based in the UK. You had a couple of options when you ordered this card. So you could order this card directly from one of their European partners or directly from Hifix. And being based in the UK, if I'd purchased it from one of the EU partners, I would have had to pay import fees and it worked out better to get it directly from Hifix. Anyway, here we are, just arrived this week. Let's have a look at what's included. So you just get a little thank you card inside. Nice little GeoNet sticker. So this is the triple band card, comes in an anti-static bag. So that's the actual triple band card right there. You get a sticker and I'll explain what you do with that shortly. This is the antenna cable which connects from here to the, uh, the board on there. We'll look at that and then you get a couple of plastic screws and a few little nuts as well. So let's just quickly look at the back of the Hifix first of all. So you've got your Wi-Fi antenna on the left hand side. So currently the dual band card which is inside this would have connected to here to go to the external antenna. So what we're going to do is we're not going to be using that once we've upgraded this card we're going to be using this one on the end. So what I'm going to do is just take this off and stick it on there because we're no longer going to be using that. This triple band card will be using this end slot here. So first thing to do is undo these four screws. So once all four screws are out, this should just slide out like so. So if you have a look here, this is where the triple band receiver is going to go in right here. But there's some pieces of plastic just covering these two holes here. So I'm just going to use some tweezers just to pull this off. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it just looks like that. Just a little piece of plastic. And the same for this side. Second one off. So there we go, both pieces are off there and that's where the card's going to go in. So first of all, let's just get the little cable here and that's going to connect to this point right here. Both ends are exactly the same, so it doesn't matter which end of this cable you use. So what we're going to do is just connect that on here. There we go, it's finally in. It's a bit fiddly, but you'll hear a little click once it's in properly. And it should just rotate nicely without coming off like that. Next thing, let's put the card in. And for the card, you just want to insert it a bit like PC memory on an angle like this. Get it all the way in and then just push down like that and you shouldn't really see any of the pins coming out there so it's completely flush with the holes right there so while we've got it like this we're going to basically put the plastic screws in both of these two holes right here let's just go ahead and tighten them Now we just turn this antenna around and the other end needs to click on this part right here. Right, there we go, it's in. And that's what it looks like there. These plastic nuts, you don't really need these. I guess these are needed if the whole board was going to come out. Then basically where the plastic screw goes there, you could probably put it on the other end of that. But we don't need it. It's not going anywhere that it's got a good fix on there. So those are just surplus. So you can just do with them what you want. So there you go, that's the triple band daughter board connected. Two screws in there, that's the antenna right there. And when we connect the external antenna, it'll go to this port on the back, not the middle one. So we're just going to put this all back together and screw the lid on. So there we go, all four screws are in. So it's obviously we're going to be using the external antenna on this one, but Hifix have included a sticker that you can use 
just in case you've lost these red covers. So we're just going to put the sticker on and all that's doing is just saying that the GNSS has moved from the middle to the end right there. There we go. So you're probably wondering why do you need to upgrade to a triple band card? Well, there's two reasons for me. First one is at the moment, the dual band card that's inside this device can see satellites in the bands all the way up to six. The triple band card will let you see satellites in the bands six to 12. And secondly, the rewards that you get will double as well when you get a triple band card. So at the moment, we're getting about 44 GeoNet tokens per day for a dual band. Hopefully that'll double once you've got this triple band card in. So when you've connected up the external antenna and you've restarted the GeoNet station, you probably find that it's coming up as unstable on the GeoNet console. So the next thing to do is to check what the current firmware is on your device. And you can do that by simply browsing to the IP address of that GeoNet station. Once you've done that, it should display this information here. In my case, it was on version 0.11. In order for it to work with the triple band card, it needs to be on version 0.16. So once you've identified your current firmware version and you've established it's below version 0.16, what you need to do is contact GeoNet support using that email address. Just include some information in the email just saying, can you please enable the triple band card and to update the firmware. Also include in the email your serial number, which is normally on the back of your unit. Now, for me, it only took them a couple of hours to get back to me, so I was very pleased with their support and the quick response. So well done, GeoNet. So once you've got the confirmation that it's been upgraded, then go to the IP address again and log in. And this time you'll have a slightly more funky version of the firmware with a few more menus, a bit more information mentioned here. And you'll see for yourself right here, once it's been upgraded, it says mobile CM version 0.16. So you're on the right firmware version for your triple band card. Next thing you can do is go into the GeoNet console and on the map. And if you look on there, you'll see next to your station that it actually says GNSS plus upgraded. So you know that it's been enabled and it's showing as upgraded on the Explorer. And one additional bonus, which I'm really pleased about because the effective satellite number I used to get on the old dual band card was around about the low 30s. Well, over the last day or two since I've been actually monitoring this, it's been 40 or above. So it has proved to me that the triple band card has worked and it's boosted the number of satellites that it's picking up. And the final thing you can do is go into the GeoNet console and go into the mine section and you'll see where you used to get 44 geodes per day. It'll go up to probably about 80 something. Now at the moment I'm just sort of midway through this one I've made the video and I've already got 63 geodes. So if you want to purchase this tri-band card I'll leave a link in the description where you can actually buy it from. So anyway I hope you like this video. Please subscribe, like if you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'll see you savages on the next one.